guys and welcome back to this autumn and halloween house tour for 2021 don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a big thumbs up if it inspired you to decorate for the seasons and without further ado let's get right into the video first off in the living room i changed up the foliage in this vase which is from next and i picked up this gorgeous dust red I think it's called Dusty Miller red leaf which is from Dunelm there is five stems in here all together you do buy them individually also the candle that I'm burning is a really old Bath and Body Works one this is sweater weather on the sofa you would have seen quite a few of these bits before in previous autumn videos over the years so I'll just run through everything quickly the grey cushion is from Home Sense the furry one is from Home Base. The orange check fleece throw is from Matterland. This is from a few years back, but they do bring this out every year in a slightly different pattern, but still with the orange. The plain orange pillow is from Matterland. And then the patterned orange pillow behind it is from M&S. Then behind the orange pillows is the most adorable pumpkin from the brand Jelly Cat. Then finally I have my squish mallows. Now they completely don't go with the sofa. However, I absolutely adore these. Sully loves them as well. He loves sleeping on them and resting his head and things like that. So these are all Halloween ones. Now I picked all three of these up from Audi. Audi seems to be the only place that does like the Halloween and Christmas squishmallows and then the toy shops do like the normal collections that are not themed to a season. On the larger coffee table the tray is from HomeSense, the pumpkin is also from HomeSense. Then I managed to pick up these gorgeous chrysanthemums, I think that's how you say it but they're mums for short. These were from Aldi, I love the colour of these. Then I just have a Bath and Body Works candle burning, this is the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and I also have a smaller version of that next to it. The pumpkin felt coasters were from Laura Ashley. This glass is from Wilco. It comes with a top and a straw so it's a tumbler but I took that off and I just like it as a normal drinking glass. Then behind the candle is these felt acorns. These were from the autumn collection at Tesco. On the smaller table the Firefly battery operated lights are from Primark. The book is a book I'm planning on reading over the weekend that Ben bought me for Christmas last year. And then the felt pumpkin is from Tiger last year. And you guys know about the garland that I added some bits to it this year and all of the autumn foliage that I did put in is from Dunnell. The garlands I got from a garden centre last year and I was so happy with how the garland turned out. I will link that video down below if you missed it. On the TV I did mention, I think in that same video, I have a Halloween and autumn ambience playlist. So if you need some beautiful autumnal or Halloween backgrounds with some music or just some ambience in the background, then definitely check out that playlist. This one at the moment that I have on is by Autumn Cozy and it's the Pumpkin House Full Ambience. I did want to quickly show you as well, I do have the furry trick or treat bat bag hanging in here as well. This had all of Sully's autumn and Halloween treats. In the kitchen on the windowsill, this autumn Bath and Body Works candle. The glittery orange spider is from Waitrose. It came in a pack. And then the wooden board is from Patman. As you come into the kitchen, this trick or treat Mickey bag is from Asda. This is full of chocolate and sweets ready for trick-or-treaters. I'm not sure actually if they will come on the Sunday night if they're younger. Maybe, possibly they'll come on the Saturday. Then directly in front of the front door, I kept this really simple this year and just went with this happy Halloween tray 
which is a Ray Dunn one that I picked up a good few years ago from TK Maxx. Then we have a Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Candle and also a Real Mini, they call the Munchkin Pumpkins and this glittery black one which was from Asta last year. And speaking of Asta, you guys saw the Mickey Trick or Treat bag and you would have seen in my Come Shop With Me, they had the most amazing Disney Halloween stuff this year and I spotted this Mickey pumpkin cookie jar and Ben very kindly treated me to it. I just couldn't resist it. I don't think we have anything in there at the moment, but we do have a few chocolate lollies, which were Ben's. I'd say this area of the kitchen is definitely my favorite, probably because there's so much going on and then the other side just has a few things scattered about. So I'll go through everything because I do have a few new additions for this year. Starting off on the coffee corner, this is old, it's from Poundman, but they do bring out different ones each year. And in here is just some little pumpkin chocolates. This is a new mug and it is my new favorite Halloween mug. To be fair, I only have two. I have this one and this Ray Dunn one, but the Ray Dunn one is more of a display one. So this one is from Sainsbury's and it was only a fiver. I love this because when you pour hot water in it, there's a few more ghosts that appear on the mug. So it's a color changing mug. These glasses here were new from Asda as well. They're the Halloween Mickey ones. These I think were only £1.50, which is a great price. And at the back, is the, oh it's 10 rounds, is this Ray Dunn Trick or Treat mug and inside it says, you probably can't see it, no tricks just treats. I love this, this is even bigger than that one so this is great for hot chocolates and things but like I said before to be honest I just use it more as a display mug and I've just got so much straws in here that are from, I think, Sainsbury's. In the corner, I always have these three jars that are filled with biscuits and things, but for Halloween, I filled this one with orange Smarties. I did show you as well, I saw it on TikTok, how you can fill a jar without completely filling it, if you know what I mean, so you don't have to buy so many, but they definitely will get eaten, they're not just for display. This one has these shortbread skulls in that are from Co-op. I was unable to get any more of them, so I may change that up next year and use something different, but I really like these. And we have some Halloween Oreos that I buy every year. They just are the vanilla ones, but the vanilla cream is orange. In here I have some Rice Krispie pumpkin treats that I made. They weren't that great, to be honest. They're quite soft. It was my first time making them. Here, this spooky Halloween house lantern is from Waitrose. I did get it a good few years ago, but I have seen it this year, and I just put some extra fairy lights in it. Then on this dish, which is from Ray Dunn, this is the, sorry, it's a bit wet, but it's the trick or treat pumpkin dish. Uh, that was from TK Maxx. And then on it, I have a coconut pumpkin latte ham wash. And then just our scrub. Over on the other side of the kitchen is this Halloween shortbread house from M&S. This went absolutely nuts on TikTok. It took me a while to find it, but I finally found it and I'm so happy I did. It was only five pound and it just looks so effective at night. I may add some more fairy lights in there because it's not like lit at the top, it's only a candle at the bottom. And then this cute skeleton here is a black glittery one that I got from Powerland a good while ago. In the corner here is just this pom-pom garland that I sort of draped over the books and this pumpkin. This was from Poundland. And then there is this pumpkin, um, what are they called, with the wax, wax melter, that's what they're called. Wax melter, so you put the candle underneath and you have the wax on the top. The scent is a pumpkin scent that came 
with this. It's from Home Bargains. On the oven is these two tea towels that came in a pack from Home Sense. And last but not least is Sully's Halloween bowl, which has his water in. I love this piece. This was a really great find, and it was only five pound from TK Maxx. And finally, I decorated in the porch area, which was a whole separate video that I'll link down below. The wreath was from a local seller, and the garland and mat were from Tesco this year. Also, the pumpkins we picked up from our local pumpkin patch, and the hay was from the range. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for following along at this autumn and Halloween. I will have everything in a playlist that is themed to this season if you want to go back and check some of the videos out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. I have one more themed video that is a cleaning one. So that will be my next one. Don't forget to look out for that. And I hope you're all having a great day or whatever you're doing. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.